Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another Theme Park Obsession video. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. Today I'm hanging out at Universal Studios Hollywood to check up on the park, Fast and the Furious roller coaster, some other updates here and there, and just to have some fun. So how about you and I dive right in. Made it to Universal Studios Hollywood, making my way through City Walk to the front entrance. But just one little thing I've noticed here at City Walk that is a little new, and it's at Tusum's Chocolate Emporium. And that new addition to Tusum's is a new bar. So I love that they utilize that space a little bit better with the walk up bar. And hey, you know what? If you want to grab a drink before you head into the park, or even before you have dinner at Tusum's, you now have that option on the other side of the restaurant. Right when you walk in, it's on the right-hand side. And remember, the milkshake bar is still on the left-hand side. Okay, I think I'm gonna start over here at uh, Pet's Place, because I already see some walls around the snack shop. And then we'll check up on the Parisian Courtyard to see if they have any HHN stuff going on. And then, of course, Fast and the Furious roller coaster. Yeah, look at this over here at the City Snack Shop. They got some walls around that. I wonder what's going on. I wonder if it's just a refurb, or if something new is gonna be going in this spot. Keep an eye on it. And here in French Street, they're still working on the VIP lounge. I wonder if they're gonna do anything new in the VIP lounge. We made it to the Fast and the Furious site, and OMG, look at all of the work happening today. This is so exciting. Oh wow, they're lifting a huge section of rebar up off in the distance there, near the top deck. Yeah, a lot of rebar's been going in. There's some that's already in the ground. They've also been doing a lot of the concrete pours for these footings, which will eventually have the support columns, which will then hold up the track and we'll get a better understanding of the layout. Right now, this is kind of like hard to tell how the layout's gonna be. We don't know if there's gonna be an inversion right here or if this is gonna be a launch or whatever. We're gonna find out soon, but man, oh man, there's a lot of exciting stuff happening today. Love to see it. Yeah, this looks to be like a straightaway right here, so I'm wondering if this will be a launch either up back this way or down over to the other end of the layout, which is gonna be on that corner over there, which doesn't look like there's too much activity today on that side, just over here. And on the top deck, you can see a lot of crew members working over there. And look over here, off in the distance, they're working on that side of the hill, finally. And what's crazy to think is my last video, which was only like four or five days ago at the time of making this one, they didn't have any of the concrete poured. They were still digging the holes out for these uh, footings. So, I mean, really, the amount of progress in just a short period of time is incredibly impressive. And Universal's been showcasing this kind of work for the past couple of years now in a lot of projects, not just here at Universal Studios Hollywood, but around the world, and especially in Florida with Epic Universe and the projects happening over there. I mean, it's just crazy. Whoever they're working with on a lot of these projects, as far as like the contractors and all that, it's just so refreshing. Like I've said a million times, it's so refreshing to see just everyone on site putting things together as quickly as possible so they can hurry up and get this new addition ready to go. Still no official word on the manufacturer. It's still no official piece of concept art or layout artwork for this coaster from Universal. Be keeping an eye out on that every single week too. I'm sure they'll make an announcement sometime this summer uh, as far as like what this thing is supposed to look like and the animation, like the POV animation and all that fun stuff. Okay, let's take a quick break from the Fast and the Furious coaster and ride the good old fashioned studio tour. Wow, talk about a beautiful day in Studio City. You can see all the way over to the other studios. You got Warner Brothers and Disney off in the distance. So cool. And look at this, they have the 60th anniversary studio tour banners up with the glamour trams, that's cool. And I wonder if they're gonna change this sign up. I would hope so. I feel like it's time to you know redo the sign anyway. You can have Jimmy Fallon on there still, but maybe something that showcases the 60th anniversary. Okay, just got off the studio tour and another really good ride, especially on this beautiful day like today. There's so much activity on the lot, which is cool. Uh, not just like the construction for haunted houses and stuff for the theme park, but for the, the movie studio. It was nice to see all that. And that's what's cool about riding the studio tour is you get to see active production all the time, especially during the week, Monday through Thursday. So if you are planning a trip to Universal Studios and you wanna see how you know TV is made, movies are made, come Monday through Thursday, that's probably your best bet for a lot of production happening on the lot. But as far as the Halloween Horror Nights construction is concerned, some pretty good activity going on behind Transformers. They've put the tent up. The walls have not gone up just yet, but I'm sure here in the next couple days, the walls and like the, the layout of whatever haunted house is going there will start to go up. And then the haunted house that is located at the Curious George surface lot, that one has gone vertical. My last update and 
today they were working on the facade, which was really cool. All is just a big guess and a mystery, and I'm super stoked for the 2024 season. But the facade that is over at the Curious George surface lot, it's pretty large. So yeah, I'm kind of like wondering what the heck that's gonna be. So far it's not three-dimensional, like it's just a flat surface. So maybe they'll add stuff over time, or it could be a big like vinyl sticker that we've seen in the past as well, depending on if it's gonna be an IP related haunted house or something original, but it's still very early and there's still a lot of work to be done. So I'm gonna uh, be really excited to see what this one looks like over the next few weeks and months. And then as far as the 60th anniversary stuff on the studio tour, a lot of work happening at the Bates Motel area and the War of the World sets. Last time we were able to drive through those areas and get a really good look at some of the additions that are gonna be happening. But this time around, uh, we did not go through that route. We had a lot of reroutes today on the studio tour. So uh, when you come here and you do wanna see those, sometimes you get lucky and you, you're able to see it, and other times you get rerouted somewhere. So that's what happened today. That's pretty much all the updates at the studio tour. So let's continue the journey. Maybe head to the lower lot, check up some more on the Fast and Furious roller coaster. And look at this, yeah, not a busy day in the park at all. They also have some 60th anniversary stuff in the queue. I'll put some uh, clips up on the screen right now to show off. Yeah, they added some screens and some other decorations, but yeah, this queue is empty compared to last time I was here, which is which is great. And also my buddy Scott from Exploring Attractions is here. Yeah, you know, we're here. We just rode the Glamour Tram. We are very glamour. We did get indeed. a Glamour Tram, yeah. And, uh, it's exciting. I know you're excited. Everybody should be excited because what they're preparing for this anniversary tour is incredible. Epic. Or, dare I say, glamorous. <laughs> I like that. And that was all one take. I didn't have to like chop it up or you know, anything. You know, that was pretty good. <laughs> you have to say, you're a professional. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, you should do so. I'll leave the link down below in the description. Yeah, you do a bunch of cool stuff. Yeah. You're here at Universal. You're... And there's lots of stuff happening. I mean, we got Disney stuff, Universal Disney, stuff. yeah. No, it's, it's, a, it's a great time to be a theme park fan. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, I've been saying that lately to a lot of people. I even said that on uh, social media recently that there's so much happening in the theme park world. It's so much fun to talk about. And when you are a true fan of this, unlike some that you know pretend to be fans, it's fun to really just be involved with all of it and really get hyped for new projects and things happening. It's just so much fun. Making my way down to the lower lot, and here's your look on the right-hand side of the escalator. You can see a lot of the concrete has been poured for these footings. And I'm still thinking this is gonna be the next spot we see some support columns for the coaster. And you can see Scott's getting it on his channel. Yeah, be sure to check out his video as well, give him some love and support. But yeah, this is going to be really cool right here, right, Scott? I think this is gonna be pretty gnarly because it's gonna it's gonna be tall. Whatever it's gonna be too, it's gonna be like super, um, how do you say, intense, I think right now. Oh yeah, I think, yeah. Yeah, and the, just judging by how large the uh, support is down here, yeah, this is gonna be some sort of gnarly element. I mean, it has to be. I'm, I'm fingers crossed at least. Fingers crossed that this is gonna be a really cool inversion or maybe a, a cool like turn down underneath this thing. I mean, yeah, it could be anything, but I'm just hoping that it's something wild. Okay, taking another break from Fast and the Furious to check up on Super Nintendo World real quick. Okay, I've made it to the secondary level here in Super Nintendo World. As you can see right behind me, they're still working on this room where the blocks were located, the big cow blocks. Don't know if those are still gonna be here or if they got something else planned behind here. It'd be nice to see another game up here in Super Nintendo World. So we'll have to wait and see, but I'm gonna be keeping an eye on this area in the next few weeks. Maybe an ice theme game is going in here. That would be kind of creative. Making my way back up to the upper lot and here's your latest look at the two Halloween Horror Nights haunted houses being built. One behind Revenge of the Mummy and the other one being built behind the Transformers attraction. Now starting with the Transformers one, yeah, there just is the tent. It, it isn't the layout or the framing for the walls just yet. It's still pretty early. I'm thinking that tent went up either today or yesterday. And then as far as the haunted house that's behind Revenge of the Mummy, yeah, everything has gone vertical and the facade work is looking really cool. So it looks like that's where we're gonna be entering the haunted house. Again, this is all guesswork. I'm just basing it off of what I'm seeing. It, the entrance to this thing could be on the, on the other side for all we know, but just judging from how tall the framing is for this, it's looking like that will be the entrance to this haunted house. It's a little windy, but one more look from this angle, the Fast and the Furious coaster. Again, just, just this is massive. This is gonna be such a cool roller coaster when it's done. Made it up here to the plaza. You know, I wonder if they're gonna have anything here for the 60th anniversary of the studio tour. Would be kind of cool to have like a glamour tram here. That's what Scott was saying earlier. Maybe something else, maybe some couple snack stands will go here. I don't know, I guess we're gonna have to wait and see what happens. And then for those wondering, no, they have not put up the Halloween Horror Nights haunted house in this location just yet, if one is going in this location. They've been putting a haunted house in this location for 
a few years now, so I wouldn't be surprised if another one pops up in the next couple of weeks. And I'm thinking they're just waiting because they know the park's been busy because of spring break and they need the extra seating. So they're probably just waiting for that right time to put, put up the walls over here by uh, Mel's Diner. We made our way out of the park and we're gonna be checking up on the Universal Studios store right here because they have some new studio tour merchandise. Here's just some of the merchandise. There's more to come. This is like probably just like a little preview before they launch the rest of it in the park, but I love the poster, the artwork on that. It's pretty sick. I'm totally gonna ruin Scott's uh, picture here. <laughs> He's taking pictures, but yeah, look at that. The glamor tram, it's like a touristy vibe. And you can never go wrong with the cups all aboard the Universal Studios tour. Or twelve dollars for that. That was gonna be twenty, but no, it's twelve. And if you're craving some chocolate, they have that available for you. It is a mystery price, so it's probably eighteen billion. But there you go, six little chocolates, and I like the lanyard here. This is pretty cool with a Woody Woodpecker on the back end. You can stick your annual pass on that. You have the film strip on the other side. The Universal City shirt with Jaws on it. That's actually really sick. Oh dang, look at this. You can't go wrong with the Glamour Tram chocolate bar. Heck yeah. That is also a mystery price. I actually really love this hoodie right here. This is 60 bucks for the Glamour Tram hoodie. Love the coloring on this. It's like a sea foam green. And then we got a baseball tee with the same artwork on the front. Nothing on the back. And we got some magnets for your fridge. Woody Woodpecker magnet is Again, classic. I'm glad they're bringing back Woody Woodpecker. I hope he comes back in the park. And we got a new backpack. You can stick all your Universal Studios merchandise in here. If I can get this thing off, there we go. Check that out, 60th anniversary studio tour on the bottom there. It's kind of an interesting material. Let's see how much is this? $58 for the backpack. We have another shirt down here. This is $30 for the Universal Studios tour t-shirt. Yeah, I wonder if they're gonna have any pins available. That'd be kind of cool. Well, that is going to do it for today's video from Universal Studios Hollywood. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel and you love these videos from Universal Studios or some of your other favorite theme parks, because I cover a bunch of them, consider subscribing because I have brand new videos every single week that you won't want to miss out on. Be sure to check out my Instagram account by following the link down below in the description. But until the next video, I hope you have a beautiful day, morning, evening, whatever it is. And I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.